This is Forex Insights with CIS Trading at thinkorswimtoolkit.com. In focus, the Euro Canadian dollar. We have a long position at the 160 24 level. Our first target is going to be, let me zoom out here. Our first target is going to be right around the 106. 33 or sorry 16033 area you can see what we've had here was we came down and hit this percentage pivot area and what these percentage levels are are the percentage levels based on the high and low range that I select with my chart so however I zoom it in if I zoom it in this much it will adjust those levels you know based on that so we probably have a move down toward this average and then right back up so when I go from just the last swing high down to this low you can see where we are there so I'm looking for a move up to 160.33 and we're at 160.28 now. So we're up almost four pips. When you look at our indicator system and our toolkit here that's set up for freestockcharts.com and TC2000 charting software, this momentum indicator is the lighter shaded area. The darker shaded area is an RSI. What you want to see is you want to see a momentum-led move with RSI corresponding with it. You will get a lot of price action where you will have an RSI-led move. For example, this candle here where the RSI peaks above momentum, but those don't last. They might continue for a period of time, but if that momentum is below that RSI, then the RSI, the, the activity of just price is what is trying to change momentum. It is far better to have a momentum based move. You see how here we have the RSI going up but our momentum going down. This move up to this 128 level is to go ahead and take a profit even though I have a 160.33 target. Even though we have a little bit of a higher high here, this is an arrowhead pattern where you have an inside bar, inside bar and an outside bar. It's a very similar price action to what an arrowhead is even though we have a little bit of a higher high and a little bit of a lower low in that candle. We'll keep an eye on it here and see if we get a bounce from this 160.27 level. We might get a push up toward 160.30. I mean on this one minute chart and then it popped right back into a buy signal 